Hi, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching. My name is Sarah and today's video is on my April favorites. I have anything from um, makeup to my favorite subscriptions. So if you are interested in watching, please continue to do so. And if you like these kind of videos, please hit that like button and I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. This is a new YouTube channel for me. So I am trying to get to that goal of a thousand subscribers. And once I do get to a thousand subscribers, I am doing a giveaway. I'm gonna choose two lucky winners and those two winners actually get to choose the prizes that they want. I'm going to have a variety of prizes from movie tickets to gift cards to makeup. So um, I would love it if you'd hit that subscribe button. I would I would really help me out. I would appreciate it. So back to my favorites. Um, I'm going to start out with one of my favorite monthly subscriptions. It is the BoxyCharm. I have waited a month for these guys to get here and they finally came. I know with everything going on with the COVID-19, things are taking a little bit longer. So I did just get these. I am going to be doing a video on both of the boxes. I get both of them. The regular one, which is this size. This is $25 a month and this is $125 worth of product. The other one that I get is the BoxyCharm Premium. It's quite a bit bigger. It looks like this. This is $35 a month and it's $175 worth of products. Full size products and good brands. I really, really enjoy uh, the subscription. One of my all time favorites. Not sponsored. They have no idea who I am. I just started my YouTube channel. Um, I just really, really love the BoxyCharm subscription boxes. My other favorite is the Scentbird, the perfume. Um, Scentbird one that comes every month. Um, you can choose monthly. You can choose every three months, every six months. Um, you also get to go in and choose what kind of perfumes that you want to try. You can fill out a little survey and you can let them know whether you want niche perfumes or if you want more high-end perfumes like Tom Ford or Givenchy um, or Prada. They come in this cute little velvet case and inside this velvet case is a little compartment like this. And then you just twist this up and the perfume comes up and then you can spray. And then um, what's really neat about it is when this is empty, you just take this out and then you can replace it. And I love these because they tuck in. So if you have this in your pocket, if you have this in your purse, you don't have to worry about it spilling. And these cases are pretty tough. So um, it also protects it from the perfume bottle from breaking. So I really enjoy this. Each of these bottles come with about 120 to 140 sprays. So it's really a really good deal for your money. You could get one um, little case of perfume for $14.50 a month. Um, I choose to get three a month. And when you get um, three a month, each container goes to about $11.66 a container. So I pay about $34, $35 for three of them. And then um, I, they also started um, providing different choices where you can do wellness products, you can do makeup, you can um, try candles. They have a variety of different things that you get to choose now. So if you don't want, you know, all three perfumes, you can sub substitute one and get a candle and two perfumes or you could substitute two and you can get a candle a makeup and a perfume so it's really really nice they're really making it personalized you really get to choose what you want and they give you a whole lot of options um, I just really really love that subscription and again you can go um, as low as fourteen fifty a month or you can really try all kinds of products and really up your subscription to your preference so I just really like those guys um, for around the house I love Bath and Body Works little um, wallflowers I love this one this one is just shaped like a cute little flower and when so you could tell I use them obviously quite frequently so then this one's empty so I just and then they come every month you can get one you can come package of two I think they come um, up to three in a package the scent that I have is the twisted peppermint one of my most favorite scents 
comes in a little pack like this. You just untwist the top. Okay, muscles, where are you? <laughs> I have the hardest time getting these open. Okay, well, I can't get this one open, but once you twist the top off, then you just take it and you just put it back inside and then you just screw it. And then um, <laughs> you just screw it back in. And then you just plug it into the wall. These are very, very scented. They, oh, I just, I love them. This scent that I have right here is pumpkin pecan waffles. Oh, another one of my absolute favorites. Um, but I absolutely love the twisted peppermint. Just makes any room scent, um, scented so fresh and just, um, they're real strong. Well, not overpowering, but one of these will scent up the whole room is what I'm trying to say. You don't need a lot of them. One, I could put uh, one of these in my living room and my whole living room will be nice and scented. So really, really enjoy these. Bath and Body Works, they have sales on them all of the time. Um, so th that is one of my favorite house products. One of my favorite snacks that I enjoy is the Atkins. These are the peanut fudge granola bars. I love peanut butter and I love granola. So this is um, a meal bar. This only has 200 calories in one bar. This is what they look like. They come in a box of five of them. Um, one bar only has one gram of sugar. So for me, I have to watch my carbs. I'm 47 years old, my metabolism, pretty much, <laughs> I don't have one. So, but I love my sweets. I love my peanut butter. I love my sweets. I love my granola. So when I do want a yummy treat, these are fantastic because they're very low in calorie, very low to no carbs. And I get these off Amazon. They also have a website that you can go to, an Atkins website. But I like getting them off Amazon because I pay for the Amazon Prime and it's two day delivery and um, Amazon has really good deals on these but I absolutely love, love these um, for a quick snack or um, I'm in the medical field so I'm running around all day and I need to eat something real quick. I just pull one of these out and they do keep me filled all day long. The other thing that I really enjoy is these sweet treats. Again, these are gummy bears. One of my weaknesses, love them. Thankfully, I found these on Amazon. These, um, they're very high in fiber. They have no artificial colors in them. They have no artificial sweeteners, so they're naturally flavored. And they only have three grams of sugar in one of the packet. 90 calories and only three grams of sugar. And they taste just like, for me, they taste just like and just as good as the regular um, gummy bears. I think Haribo, Harab, Haribo, Haribo. I'm probably totally butchering that. But very, very comparable to those guys. Love these for a quick, sweet treat. And I don't have to feel bad about it because it's not high in calories and only has three carbs. So I love that. I get a whole box of them from Amazon. For my hair, you guys, if you've seen any of my past videos know, I absolutely love the Monet hair brand. Absolutely love this. I have been coloring my hair since I was 17 years old. I've been going gray since I was 17. So my hair can get real coarse, it can get real dry, it can get real frizzy. So this is my hair just shampooed and just air dried. Um, I didn't do anything with it. This Monet, um, I use the Revive shampoo saves my hair because I do color it um, and I color it, my hair grows fast. So I color it probably every four to six weeks. This stuff saves my hair. I don't have anything in my hair and it just makes it thicker. It makes it fuller. It gives it some life. It, it really keeps the shine to it. It makes it um, so it's not frizzy. It makes it soft. I just absolutely love this Monet brand. Um, I have the renewing conditioner. Um, I also use the anti-frizz about once a month. I cannot use this all of the time, but about once a month, I will use the anti-frizz smoothing primer. You just put it in your hair and it just makes your hair so silky um, and so soft and just, it, but it doesn't weigh it down or make it heavier, greasy feeling. 
it comes with the leave-in conditioner, which I I did spray this leave-in conditioner after I showered this morning. I will leave this leave-in conditioner in. Again, it's not real heavy. Doesn't make your hair greasy feeling. And then it also has a reshape a root lifter so if you want a lot of volume obviously i'm wearing a hat so i can't show you but this is a root lifter so you lift up your roots and you spray it in there and it really gives a lot of volume to your hair and then um oh this is the same thing just an extra bottle of the the root lifter but i absolutely love the monet um been using these guys for a long time um, I highly recommend them. Again, not sponsored. They have no idea who I am. I just love the brand. For my um, face, I will use for cream, moisturizer, the June & Co. Miracle Cream. Love this stuff. This came out mm, maybe about a year ago. And um, I started using it last summer. So for just about a year, I have been using this. Absolutely love it. I have very, very dry skin at 47. So, and um, I am a sun baby. So a little bit of sun damage there. But this just makes my, gives my skin a nice glow. Keeps it very moisturized. Gives it um, just lots of moisture. Just gives it a nice youth, youthful glow to it absolutely absolutely love this stuff for me it works best when i shower in the morning and then um i dry off i will put this on and i will let it soak in for at least about a half hour before i put my makeup on that's how it tends to work the best for me i love this stuff i highly recommend it um with that said i've been loving the june and co um beauty blender it has these little, I don't know if you can see that, but see those little fibers on there? So I don't know if it's the fibers that make a difference, but this puts your makeup on so well. Does not soak up a lot of makeup, um, and it just blends your makeup so well into your skin. I just absolutely love this. If you love the Beauty Blender, you'll absolutely love the June & Co. Um, Beauty Sponge. It, I, I think I prefer this, actually, over the Beauty Blender, and it's um, a lot less expensive. But I don't know, again, if it's the fibers that's on here, but it really does a good job of blending your makeup out. Um, another one of my favorites for makeup is the Cover FX Primer. This is what I have on today. It really lays down so smoothly. Oh, and it's also tinted. It's got a little bit of a tint to it here. I'll show you. You see, it's a little bit tinted. And look at that. It just gives you such a beautiful glow. Lays down so smooth and creamy. And just really gives you a beautiful canvas to lay your makeup on top of. I have sensitive skin. This does not break me out. Does not settle into my fine lines. Um, it just really does a great job at keeping your makeup on and in place all day. One of the best primers I have ever used is this Cover FX Primer. This is the blurring um, base primer. Um, for my contour and my highlight, I have been loving the Bare Minerals palette. This is the Bare Minerals Bare Glow palette. Um, I just believe this was in a video. I just did um, a morning makeup routine. And so this, I believe, was in there. Look at these colors. Love these colors. I use this to contour. I use this on top of my blush. And then I use this as a highlight. It's a highlight that I have on now. Just absolutely love, love these guys. And I use the um, this for the contour. It just is perfectly shaped for that. Absolutely love this. Um, but yes, it lasts all day long. Um, it, unfortunately, it doesn't have the name of the colors on here, but this trio from Bare Minerals, the Bare Glow Face Palette, I absolutely love for contouring and highlighting. For blush, Siete London. This color, oh, I just love it, especially for summer. Just gives you a nice sun-kissed look on your cheeks. Love this color. It's called Burnt. It's what I have on now. And 
this will last all day long. I very rarely ever have to touch up my blush with the Ciate London. Um, if I've worked all day and then I've gone and worked out and I've walked my dogs, I'm gonna go do something, yeah, then I'll probably have to touch up. But I can get up, do my makeup in the morning, like I have been up since probably six o'clock this morning and what time is it, 3.30 in the afternoon? I haven't touched up my makeup. And look, you could still, it just, it does a really, really good job at just giving you a nice, rosy, um, creamy, sun-kissed look. Um, again, I have sensitive skin. It does not make me break out. It does not, it's not real chalky. It doesn't um, cake up at all. Love the Ciate London makeup brand, especially their, their blushes. For under my eyes, I tend to have some baggage under my eyes. I enjoy the Needles No More baggage from Dr. Brandt. This stuff works really well. Um, we tend to have those the puffy, baggy eyes in the morning. Ooh, and we wake up, they're really prominent. Put some of that on there and it really kind of helps calm it down a little bit. Really soothes, um, smooths those lines out. Really enjoy that. And uh, this is a little on the pricier side, but a little bit goes a long way. I probably got this about six months ago and I haven't even used half the uh, tube yet. Love this stuff for the baggage underneath your eyes. For eyeliner, another Ciate London product. This is called Stamp and Drag. I love this eyeliner. What I love about it is Oh yeah, look at the tip on that. See how it's thin and then it goes real thick? I already have, let's see, I'll draw them on here again. But it, see, you could do a thin line or you could do a really, really thick line. And then here, that was a, a stamp. I love this because you could do a perfect wing on here. See, you just stamp it and it gives you a perfect little wing. I don't have wing on right now, um, but I absolutely love the Ciate London stamp and drags for doing a winged liner. So pigmented, you could do different looks with it because you can do draw thin, you could draw thick. Um, I just love this, it doesn't budge. I have allergies, so my eyes tend to water. And even though they water a little bit, this stuff does not run, it does not budge, and it lasts all day. Highly recommend their eyeliners, just love them. For my setting powder, I love the Clinique. This is in the color Transparency Bronze Number 10. Again, it's what I'm wearing today. It just leaves um, a nice smooth look, does not settle into my fine lines, does not cake up. Um, does not make me break out. It is not scented. So for me, I really do not like heavily scented makeups. So that is not heavily scented and just does a really good job at um, making your face nice and smooth, your complexion nice and smooth. Again, it does not settle into fine lines and does not get cakey and it does last all day. Um, not too expensive. I mean, it's Clinique, so, you know, we're talking $30, $35, but we're not talking like <laughs> Tom Ford, you know, um, but um, it works very, very well. It, it's it's on the higher end, um, but worth, worth every penny, especially if you're like me and you're on your feet all day and you're working all day long, that will last you all day long. Um, the, oh, my, for my eyelashes, Shout out to Salon Perfect 663s. I have them on now. Um, I get these at Walmart for $7.99, so eight bucks at Walmart. And they're so easy to apply. I just use the Kiss eyelash glue. And what I like about this brand is I probably have been wearing this pair. So it's Saturday today. I've been wearing this pair all week long. So this is my sixth day wearing this pair. So um, they last a, a, a good a good amount of time. Um, and they are very, very comparable to going and getting um, eyelash extensions on. For me um, and my sensitive eyes, I will not go and get eyelash extensions done again. I was getting eyelash extensions done and all of my eyelashes fell out. I had 
very naturally long eyelashes, but they were blonde, so you couldn't see them. So I'd either go get them tinted or I would get the eyelash extensions on. And within about six months, all my eyelash shit had fallen out. I could barely even get extensions put on. So um, I stopped with that and I started doing my own eyelashes. It took a little bit of practice, not gonna lie. Um, actually, it took a lot of practice, but once you get it down, it is so, um, it saves so much money. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I cannot talk. I'm so sorry. It saves you a lot of time and it saves you a lot of money once you get down putting on your own eyelashes. And these I have been wearing probably about a year now. And um, not only have my own eyelashes have grown back, but they do not make my own eyelashes fall out. So... Let's see, um, what else do I have? Oh, here we go, last but not least, Going Coconuts eyeshadow palette. This is, I mean, who hasn't heard of ColourPop, right? And Going Coconuts, these colors, I mean, they are about as neutral as you can get. I'm a neutrals girl, love these colors. I love the looks you can create with them. I have them on now. Um, I believe I used this in my morning makeup routine video that I just posted. Absolutely love this stuff. Not a whole lot of fallout. You can create very simple, easy, natural eye looks with this. Absolutely love these guys. I love the whole ColourPop collection. And it's insane the amount of products that they continue to pump out. And they're good quality. And so for the price and for how fast they come out, they're very consistent in their formula. It's not like one time you get a bad eyeshadow and then the next time it's really good. And what are you going to get the next time? They are consistently really good formulas and really, really good eyeshadows. I absolutely love love these guys so I believe that that is it for my April favorites I didn't have a whole lot just a little bit to touch up on um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video I don't like to do fails so much um, I like my channel to be very positive and just because something does not work for me doesn't mean that it's not a good product or that it's not gonna work for you so I really just enjoy doing just the favorites um, so I hope that's okay with you. I know a lot of people do my favorites and fails. I'm not ever going to have a fail on here. Um, just because I like to keep my channel, again, positive. And just because it doesn't work for me doesn't mean it's not going to work for you. So that is what I have for my April favorites. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or any further requests, please feel free to message me. Again, please hit that subscribe button. And I hope that you guys have a really good day. Hope you guys are staying safe out there. I'm in the medical field. I see it firsthand. COVID is very real and it's still about. So if you are out and about, wash your hands, wear that mask and stay safe. And you guys have a fantastic day and we will talk to you soon.